Hey, what's up, guys? This is DJ. New and updated mods have been released on the mod up for Farm Sim 22 today. In total, we have 28 mods for all platforms. We have 19 new and 5 updates. And PC and Mac players have 4 updates. In this video, I'll show you all the new mods plus their customization, and we'll go over all of the mods that got an update. Starting off today with some new ones for all platforms, we've got a new ATV for you. The Lizard Trolled, or TR Old? I think that's what it's supposed to be. The 600. This is 140 horsepower. It's got a variable trailer transmission 55 liters of fuel 80 mile per hour max speed and it weighs one ton by itself this is supposed to be a pairing of the number one most popular quad that we've got in the game so far the tra 500 well db bigger on this one will brands include midas we also have bkt nookian Midas and back, <laughs> back in again. We do have some different rim options here as well. I wish I could zoom in a little bit more for you guys, but this is as far as it lets me zoom. I can't zoom out far enough away. Goodness gracious, very, very far away on there. So tons of really cool wheel options like those. We'll just stick with that. Handlebar options. So we have one and two and then three and four and five and six and back in. So we have three plastic and three painted front prop we have standard we have a plastic front sticker colorful front sticker and back to standard again we've also got the grill so standard here grill that's that's not a grill uh we've got the grill and rounded headlights uh with an led bar you could do the bumper guard with those same things or nada we'll just stick with the, that looks pretty cool back prop so we have the back pad which comes as standard we also have metallic pad on the back or back and forth between the back now sides we have a plastic side or a colored side or without the side if you guys want to look in there that's pretty cool i like that light how, lighthouse what's a lighthouse talking about the headlights headlights that did not translate uh you've got some different stuff through there do like that looks pretty cool camouflage that's right we got some camo on here so there's your number one there's your number two number three number four number five number six number uh, zero yep there you go attachment so we have a rear hitch which throws a three-point hitch on there we also have a side hitch you can do a three-point on the side both of them or nada and then your main color so this is the color palette that you get and we do have chrome so you can have a full chrome quad if you want to we also have design colors in here as well, well stick with purple oh you know what let's go with red yo look at check the suspension dude that's awesome and then rim colors themselves we'll just change those up to chrome that does look pretty darn good i do find it interesting that the quad in farming simulator has more customization options than the one in grand theft auto nice is there anything that we could do here let's see we can uh yeah i would say that's something right there we've got raising animations all right that's pretty cool uh let's see oh you can actually raise your dude up and down yo check that out like that's that's me right there that's that's super cool so if you guys are doing any off-roading or something like that maybe a little bit of role play uh you can actually have your guy stand up or sit down that is pretty darn cool next up we have the pickup 2018 facelift now this bad boy is uh just kind of a facelifted super customized version of the 20 i think 17 pickup that we have in the game anyway i do like this 250 horsepower at least to start with we can bump that up to 300 or 450 if you would like uh, and we do get a little like racing badge almost right there in the grill like that so we'll stick with that you do have an automatic or you have a manual transmission, depending on the engine. 120 liters fuel goes 124 mile per hour max speed. That's pretty good. Uh, and weighs 2.4 tons. Now, as far as your wheel setups, we start off with a standard. They will have a standard too, as we have seen. But we also have the Sport Design or the SR Sport Design. And then back into standard again. Design, we have a matte aluminum. That's going to be on the grill and pieces or the glossy black. And then standard, which is a matte black. Lighting design, standard, we have the light pack. Let's see. Just adds fog lights on there. So that's nice to have. Dashboard configurations. Might not be able to see directly in there, but we could do the tech pack or standard. We'll do the tech pack. Light bar. So we have a spotlight on the top. We have spotlights with strobes. Yep definitely got to get that one attachment so we've got salt box yes there's actually a salt box mod that comes with this i'll show you guys that well actually just 
attach it there. So chassis colors. We could change up the main color. We do have some custom colors here, which is very nice. Ooh, I like the satin gray. That's pretty cool. But we also have all the standard colors as well. We'll just go with this. That looks pretty cool. Seat colors. You could change up the colors of the seat. We'll go with racing red caliper colors. Come on. Calipers are always red. And then your rim colors. So they do have a chrome, satin, bronze, matte black. And then we have the black titanium. We'll go with a matte black there just for our sake. We'll do that. And then take a look at the salt box. This holds 680 liters of salt. Weighs 450 kilograms. And it will do 6 meters at 15 miles per hour. Chassis color. We've got uh, orange and gray. We'll go with the gray. And then the cover. We could change that up as well. Let's go ahead and get ourselves one of those and one of those. And we'll hook it up and see how we've got here. Let's pull forward and we'll back right up to it. Now, I don't think you're going to be able to utilize this if you've got... Uh, there we go. Nice. I don't think you're going to be able to utilize this if you have a normal bed on the back. I think you actually need to have this. It looks like a boat just a little bit. Let's see. Uh, open cover. Do we have an animation? We do have an animation. Oh, how's about that? I do like that very, very much. So we can change up the working with them. Six, four, and two meters. That is nice to see. And when we unfold it, it does bring that down again. <laughs> kind of looks like you're <laughs> kind of looks like you're doing that and going into like the water. <laughs> anyway, um, there you go. How are we looking on that? Okay, so we have full control over the LED in the center as well as those strobes. No rear-facing strobes, and if we turn them off, they turn off. We still have our four-way flashers. If you guys play on PC, you could still turn those on. Ah, we got some neat little animation there on the sides as well. Yeah, that was a pretty cool truck. Next, we have the Limkin Vario Pack. It's showing in disc arrows, also a shallow cultivator here. 2.6 tons, 3 meters at 4 miles per hour hour we do have a couple customization options as well we do have working lights you could do lights with the turn signals as well if you guys want to rock and roll with that and we have four meter four and a half five and six meters so that is pretty cool also these are a front cultivator if it matters to you now this one this is a big old cultivator for you guys the coupling of toothed harrows we have the barona Meaning that maybe in the future, they could be adding more. Main color, we have blue, red, and green. This is 1.6 tons, so super lightweight, 80 horsepower, low power requirement, 9 meter working width, which may have just sold you on it, 3 point hitch, uh, 7 miles per hour. So this, this might be one of the most OP cultivators that we've got in the game. Just saying. Next, we have a very simple mod, the self-made front tank. This holds 350 liters of liquid fertilizer or herbicide, and it weighs 300 kilograms by itself. There's no customization options. There are no extra feature sets. It just holds extra capacity for your sprayers. Um, there's also no sprayer that it's designed for, meaning that you can use any of them, although it does share the same colors or similar colors, at least, to the Hardy system. So, Maybe there. Next up, we got the Lizard MDT. This is something that we talked about in Farm Sim News a uh, couple times at least. So this is a super cool, like, transport development trailer. We have an 8 meter long, 12 meter, and back in between those. We'll just stick with the 12 so we can show you the largest one. Warning sizes. So we do have some warning signs on here. If we can go all the way towards the back. There you go. You got a beacon. So this is G3, G1, G2, G3. So none back front both i get it we've also got a main color here are your color options i think for today let's go with orange we seem to have a, a thing for orange there so we get our piece right there we'll just jump in here we'll get a tractor of some sorts yep that'll work great for us and let's jump in here i want to show you this because this is pretty massive but what it does is pretty cool first off the turning radius is ridiculous to say the very least we've got this we got our trailer whatever's on it we do have straps all the way down as you can see i can easily and accidentally turn all the way around on myself with this so that is something that you can do but let's take a look here so we've got lower click the button and it will lower all the way down to the ground allowing you <laughs> well you can drive up here you can easily put pallets on here. If you got something that you pick up by hand, you can put it on there. That can work. All of those things can work. And then we can make it rise again. 
And of course, we got those beacon lights on there too. There was an animation that popped. Okay, so it's a cover for the hydraulics on the back. Otherwise, uh, that's really kind of it. I mean, it's a simple mod, but it's like, oh, that's pretty cool. I like that. Oh yeah, for sure. Next, we got the homemade lizard fork. This hooks up via front or rear three-point hitch, and it can be used to pick up round bells. Looks like it'll pick up one comfortably, two in an absolutely terrifying situation, and there are no customization options. It weighs 300 kilograms. Now, if you want to move around a couple extra bells with a three-point hitch and not make the world disappear, you can use this, the Lizard 11400. This holds two bells. <laughs> 156 kilograms. You guys know I was joking about the first one holding two bells, right? Just, just double checking. We've got some color options here and we got quite a bit. I do like that there's like a Heston color almost. Kind of what it reminds me of. We'll just go with the white color there and we will go with a dark blue there. So you know, you can change those up. So those look very good. I think it was modeled well. And another piece that hooks up via your three-point hitch. This one weighs 250 kilograms, and it will hook up to uh, bells. Or if you want to impale something else, go for it. Uh, works great with bells. Got a new leveler for you, the three-point leveler blade. A whole lot of three-point attachments today. Goodness. Here is your color palette. We have the old color palette, so it'll match all your old tractors and... The good thing is, you don't need a massive tractor to run this either. Weighs there, it's 2.4 meters, 2.2 point, point tons? Point two, yeah, it's 0.2 tons. That's about it. Used a lot of words in the wrong order there, I apologize. Next is the Sepnusel F240 mower. This could be hooked up on the front of your small tractor. And I say small, uh, it does weigh 640 kilograms, so it's not the lightest thing in the world. However, 40 horsepower, 2 meters, 2.4 meters, really, at 12 miles an hour. It's pretty standard stuff through here, and it's kind of nice. I like this. Design we have without covers. We've got the middle shields. We have the sides by themselves, or all of them. So you could choose all. Look like a normal a mower. And then we've got an older color palette here as well for you guys. And then a similar color palette here. Or your other parts. Next spot's kind of interesting. This is the direct seeding mod. So this mod allows you to seed uh, directly with seeders that have a rotary harrow on the front end. Some of them are only the the, the rotary harrow. Um, I've always been a little bit confused on why this didn't work to begin with. I mean, this is a base game seeder right here that that has a, a, a power harrow in the front, but you can't direct seed with it. I don't know, it doesn't make any sense to me, at least farming simulator logic. Maybe I need to do one of those videos. But nonetheless, uh, it has been added to quite a few pieces of equipment now in the game. Some base game as well, so that is good. How's about some placeables for you guys? It looks like we have like six placeables today. First one is crops and machinery storage. So if I remember correctly, this was a mod that we had in farming simulator 19 because I vaguely remember this really, really cool opening here. So it's kind of nice. You've got different little kind of in coves and stuff i would forget which one was which but then again i guess there's barely enough for there already and we'll open those up and we got an opening here on the end now the only thing that's slightly confusing is there seems to be a massive area right here where there's nothing being used or i'm just an idiot and opened up the wrong door that could have been it. it says it's this door right here but yeah there's like a whole is there really a whole area right here that's just not being used yeah well, that stinks all right well uh there you go nonetheless crops and machinery storage next we have the finished machinery shed so these are 16 by 8 meters one with sliding doors and one without. So we'll come over here, take a look at sliding door. Very nice, very nice. It reminds me of one of the very first sheds that ever came out for Farm Sim 19. I know we're talking about 19 a lot today. And then we got a version here with no doors whatsoever. Use them how you wish. Next up, we got a big old silo facility. It's a silo to store all your, uh, say, all types of crops. Capacity is 15 million liters altogether, but... Uh, well, I've been comparing everything to Farm Sim 19 today, so here we go again. Uh, back then, 15 million liters meant 15 million of everything. This, this is all together. As you can see, it's just four bins, exactly the same. Uh, this is a Missy B mod, so we have her type of uh, spout coming over. 
And we have the, the grading. Yep, pretty simple. Next up, we have the hay storage and ventilation. They say you don't always want to turn all the grass in until it's dry or you just need more space to store your hay and straw. Well, here you go. You have the hay storage and ventilation. So there's two mods here. One is hay ventilation and the other one's hay storage. However, we have here, you can see we have hay loft, which is I mean, it's storage at the end of the day. And then if we jump over to production change, you'll also find here hay ventilation. So they're a little bit offset as far as uh, figuring out which one's which and which one is is either. One's a silos, it's a silo. The other one is in production chains and it is a production chain. So here you go. We have grass into hay and 48, uh, 48 cycles per month, $48 per month, so a dollar per cycle. Not too bad. Next is the water tank. It is a big, huge, American great water tank to supply your implements and decorate your farm with as well. 28 grand is gonna get you this bad boy. One thing, uh, I'm actually not able to sell it by clicking on it, but when I get down to the bottom, I can. So you can sell it, it's just, may take you a second. Your next to last mod for all platforms today, new one is the old wooden shed. It's a that's an old wooden shed. <laughs> Very good, looks nice. 15 grand, a little bit much for an old wooden shed, but uh, yeah, there you go. And your last new one for all platforms today is the food mixer. So we have a normal food mixer for cattle and we have a pig food mixer. Now we've already received mixers quite literally exactly like this, but they did not include the food mixer for pigs. I'm guessing that's how this one got through. Uh, nonetheless, uh, yeah, you make Pick food, pick food, and you make forge with uh, uh, TMR. <laughs> Not a whole lot to be said about it. They are factory, so uh, you can find your factory stuff right here. Next, let's take a look at some mod updates for all platforms. The Massey Ferguson 8S US and EU series. This is version 1.3. The new block weight options have been added. That includes the Agco 850 and the 1500. Also, the SMV Triangle Warning Sign option has been added. Block weight option has been added. Rim color option. Wheel color configurations or wind configurations. Chassis and sunroof animation has been removed. Next is Punch your Boss Alpen Pack version 1.002 fix silage additive. Your third update for crossplay mods today is the Cavernland Optima V Custom version 1001. Added a multi fruit version and added more colors. Your fourth update for all platforms the Seed Potato Farm Buildings Pack version 1.1. Added support for multi buy, added persistent potato boxes, added support for the Magsy Box Tipper, added a new sorting shed, and added new fill types. Big bags and empty pallets. Features of the new sorting shed include a new sorter that cleans out stones and claws for manure, new bagger that requires empty pallets and big bags, fridge doors that work with the animated object extend mod, weather station, and electric charge station. And your last update for all platforms is the additional pallet storage version 1.1. Added support for animal pallets, including eggs, honey, and wool. And lastly, today we've got some updates for PC and Mac players. The first one is Prairie Farm Michigan 4X version 1.1 alfalfa windrow fixed. Secondly, the Donnelly Trailer Pack version 1.001 fixed the latch animation. Thirdly, the Gigant ML 110 version 1001 manual opening for the hydraulic ramps, rim color configuration, more color configurations including blue, red, and green, and configuration for the Mustang brand. And your last mod today is an update to Wine add-on version 2. Reduced meter for every roll from 6 meter down to 3 and added new brands, John Deere. Well guys, that's it for this one. I hope you enjoyed the video. Drop a like on it. Get subscribed if you're new. Join the GoHam fam. Make sure those notification bells are on as well. That way you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel. We already dropped farm sim news. I talked about a working winch from Alien Jim, Bucks County, which seems to be almost finished, and a few other things as well. Check it out. Otherwise, hope you have a great day. We'll see you later. Peace.